Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Trucker Rudy Show. Yes, indeed. As you can see, we're back in the truck. 100 meters. Turn right on Highway 52. Yes, indeed, we are. We had us a couple of days off of work and kind of took a few days off of videoing too. Yes, indeed, I have. Continue on this road for 21 kilometers. And we went to my buddy's wedding yesterday afternoon, so I've been busy with that and didn't really feel like videoing there for a couple of days. I, uh, I don't know, my channel has just been staying still. Nobody seems to share my videos. Uh, well, only a few people and uh, I'm not getting any new subscribers or anything. So it's kind of discouraging from making videos if nobody wants to share my video or we're not getting any new subscribers, you know. So I figured, you know what, maybe you guys had enough of seeing me for a while, so take me a couple of days off. Yeah, maybe then we can get a refresh and be maybe a little more energized about making videos again. Hopefully we can make them a little bit more interesting then. And what I also did do is my wife told me about a sale going on at Best Buy there in Winnipeg. And... Uh, so uh, I looked into it and I liked what I saw and so we had to go to Winnipeg that day anyways and drop our, our daughter off in Winnipeg because she was staying there for the weekend and so uh, I went and checked it out and I really enjoyed what I saw so obviously you have already seen a little hint of it in a couple of previous videos. And that is, I got me a drone, Phantom 3, 4K. Yeah, the DJI Phantom 3, 4K, it's called. I got that, and uh, we've been doing some flying with that. And so you guys have probably seen already the new intro that I put together, or. Uh, or at least the outro as well or at least I put one video together where I was following a, a panner driver leaving the yard and I thought that turned out to be it's not too bad you know so maybe that'll give me a new per perspective of things and maybe I can show you guys some new things and maybe some uh, if we got a nice clear day I can show you the surrounding where we're at and can maybe show you the interstate or something like that, you know. Might be pretty cool. I might be able to show you some pretty cool things, you know. And uh, so I figured, you know what, why not try it, eh? And this is obviously not the best one there is. There is better ones out there. I know there's even the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Pro Edition yet. And those ones cost a lot more money. And that just goes to show you that the money that make that we make here on YouTube, we go spend it towards making our channel better and getting new equipment, getting more cameras, getting different uh, angles of things, you know. So that drone is going to help me a lot, I think. Going to give me a lot of different angles to show you guys and do all that good stuff so uh, so yeah I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with that now those is those are expensive toys to have but they're very handy to have I think especially when we go camping and stuff like that you know you can uh, you can set that thing to follow you and it's got GPS tracking in it and everything man you can adjust the camera angle it goes 500 meters high into the air. It uh, supposedly has a range of 2,000 meters with the remote 
which I haven't been able to get. I think the most I've gotten is like four or five hundred meters uh, away from me with the remote, and then I start losing the signal. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably somewhere in the middle of nowhere. If you're somewhere on top of the mountain or something like that, you got nothing interfering with it, and you got a clear signal, maybe. But for me, it hasn't happened. <laughs> But, hey, I got it up to, uh, I would say about close to 400 meters high uh, into the air and about four or 500 meters away from me as well. That's pretty good distance already, you know, like you can go a pretty good distance with that. And that's good enough for me for now. I said, you know, I'm going to go with the cheaper version there. I mean, it's not the cheapest that there is, but it's, you know, middle range type. And I can even record 4K if I want to, you know. And, which, I tried it, and I think the memory card I got in there is not fast enough to handle the 4K. So it was freezing. And so I put it down to 1080p at 60 frames per second, which I record this show at with the GoPros. And then it seems to be fine. So uh, yeah, then anyway, so then it seemed to be good and that's good enough quality for me. I mean, you guys probably seen the video already and I think it's pretty good quality. But yeah, we're making our way down to uh, Huron, Huron uh, South Dakota, I believe it is. It's not a super long trip, but we have already gotten the Rio. Yes, indeed we have. And we're going to tell you about it later. <laughs> First, we're going to make our way towards the border. Welcome to the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. We just crossed the border. Very intense questions today were asked of me. Yes, indeed. Uh, never had somebody ask me that intense questions than this guy did today. I mean, he was nice, very professional. Just asked me very directly what I had to declare and if I ever had been asked to bring drugs. Uh, and I said no. He asked me if I ever been asked even to bring drugs. And I said no, I've never been asked. And he said, what would you do if they did ask you? And I said, I would say no. And he said, and? And I didn't know at first what he meant by that. And then uh, I asked him what he meant by that. And he said, what would you do after that? And I said, I definitely would report that. Somebody asked me to bring drugs, shit, I would be scared. I wouldn't want to have anything to do with those kind of people. I mean, you could get yourself killed over shit like that, you know? I don't want to have anything to do with drugs, I'm telling you, man. New Surrey Bob, but yeah, here we are, and it's still foggy. Very foggy indeed. But, hey, that's the way it is. You just have to live with it. At least it's not foggy to the point where it's only like a couple of meters in front of you that you can see. At least we can see about half a mile down the road, so. That, I think, is far enough for me to be able to see something if something goes on. I can stop on time and all that good stuff, but, uh, but yeah, here we are in the United States of America. We had 392 miles to go to our delivery. Yeah. We will probably make a pit stop in Fargo, North Dakota. Probably put a little bit of Google juice in. That way we have fuel. We can go make our delivery. Yeah, I am just on the exit ramp right now, or on the ramp, I guess you could say, back onto the I-29. But uh, we have to get us a little bit of go, go juice up here on the Fargo, North Dakota. We put 60 gallons worth of fuel in, and so that way we have a little bit of fuel. Should be able to make it up to our delivery at least with this fuel. And uh, I'll probably feel a little bit more in uh, Watertown here tonight when I get down there. But right now we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. We got 
238 miles to go to our delivery yet, which ain't that bad. I mean, it's only 1.30 in the afternoon right now, so we got lots of time yet. We really do. So, uh, yeah, I figured, well, we had the South Dakota scale there. They're almost always open over there, so we're probably going to have to scale her over there. I'm going to have to go over the scale there. But that's alright. I'm not really worried about it because North Dakota and South Dakota both have a 400-pound uh, weight exemption for APU units. So we should be alright even if they pull us in. You know? We can show them that we got the APU unit and all of that good stuff, so yeah. Anyways, let's continue on cruising along here. I'll probably be flying my drone a little bit later. I don't really want to do it in the States too much. Maybe only if I'm uh, maybe at a rest area or you know maybe some truck stops I'll I'll do that, but <laughs> because uh, I know there are some rules and regulations on it I read up on it and it says as long as you stay under 400 feet which is 120 meters you are not in a restricted area but if you go higher than that or closer than five miles to any airport then you are in a restricted zone you're not allowed to fly there so we're going to have to stay away from airports, at least five miles away from the airports, and we have to stay lower than uh, 400 feet or 120 meters, which is no problem for me. 120 meters is high enough for me, so I mean, with 120 meters, you can already see the whole city. <laughs> so we will probably fly it a little bit later. I know there's some pretty nice valleys up there uh, in South Dakota and they got a rest area up there in the middle of nowhere so I might go in there and fly it a little bit up there but uh, I mean we do have time right so and I would like to do that throughout the day instead of doing it at night <coughs> so that way we can get some good footage off of that hopefully you guys will like that I know not everybody's gonna obviously like that I want to. I really enjoy flying it. I love some of the footage that I get off of that. I mean, not all of the footage is going to be uh, worth keeping, but some of it, you know, take the best sections out of that. And do some flying. Yeah. All right, guys, we have made it to the town of our delivery. It's actually the next morning. Yeah, I might be able to see it still kind of drizzling and raining I don't even know if I told you guys yesterday but uh, as we got into South Dakota there a little bit it got really thick fog so I didn't even record anything after that because I figured you know it was safer for me not to record anything so I can focus on the road also you wouldn't have been able to see much anyways and then after that it started raining like crazy and windy and I had to hold on to my steering wheel so you can stay on the road and I was scared it could all of a sudden start freezing up and all that stuff so uh, but uh, yeah we made it here last night to the town where we're supposed to deliver we're actually only about three miles from our delivery so we're just getting ready here the next morning to uh, go make our delivery yes indeed Oh yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's little vlog here, and we'll be back tomorrow, so don't go nowhere. This has been Trucker Rudy, signing out.